Hey there, welcome back to Minifig Monday. Thanks for joining me for this one. This takes us all the way back to 2012. Well, in a sense, this is the original Hawkeye figure that Lego made back when the, uh, back when the Avengers first premiered, which was a time I'll never forget. And the first Marvel sets were released. It was called Lego Marvel Super Heroes back then. And Hawkeye came in ju or two sets, the Hulk Helicarrier Breakout and the Loki Cosmic Cube Escape. Kind of confusing names. He came in a couple of the Avengers sets, and this is based on his appearance in that movie. He's a pretty good figure. I used to have this figure. Um, I got this from Bricks and Minifigs, and I'm glad that they had him, because I was looking for this exact figure. The, reason, the main reason I got this uh, minifig again there are a couple reasons, but the first one I got him, the, the reason why I got him again is because I wanted this specific Hawkeye to pilot the Quinjet, the 2023 version. Uh, I know there's there has been an updated version of this outfit that came in the Avengers Tower. Obviously, I'm nev not going to get that, at least not for a long, long, long time, hopefully. Um, so yeah, I know he comes in that set and he's updated, but this is the original and it's cheaper, and I only paid seven bucks. And surprisingly, one thing I want to talk about is the condition. It's pretty mint. There's nothing, like, there's no scratches, there's no cracks, which is the thing I was worried about. So, yeah, no cracks, as long as I can, as far as I can tell. And it's in really great condition, especially for a 13-year-old figure. Um... I think this is one of the best Hawkeyes. I think it's a little bit weaker than, for instance, the newest one that has that has come out, the the one based on the show, the CMF Hawkeye, for those of you keeping track. I think there's been at least seven Hawkeye figures, maybe six, including the new one. Not too many. There's been at least one uh, based on the comic, or no, I'm sorry, one based on the Avengers video game, which I've heard is just a bad and awful, so... You know, it is what it is. But I think this is definitely one of the better ones, for sure. Probably my second... F well, it's the hair. We'll get to that. But let's get to his accessory, which is his uh, bow piece, compound bow. And this piece is awesome. I think they stopped using it after Avengers Age of Ultron sets. I think he came in one or two of those, and they didn't use it. I could be wrong, but I think they made a new piece-ish. Um... I'm thinking maybe they've just used the this piece for Hawkeye. So I'm pretty sure it's just for him. Um, it's a great looking piece for sure. Very accurate to the movie design. And it's got a couple hand hole or hand areas. Which is really nice. It looks great with the arrow in there. And the best part of it about this piece is you can whip it around and have him hold it like this. Like he's aiming it, you know? It's a bit awkward because the arrow won't actually fire, so it's not going to actually shoot, but it does look very nice. The one thing about this piece, though, I think it's the quality of these pieces. This one's in fantastic shape for being so old, but there is a quality issue with the handles. They start to get really, um, they start to, the plastic starts to come off and starts to get gray and um, crinkly. You may know what I'm talking about. Like, all these bow and arrow pieces, they start to get really, um, really used up uh, the more you put the figure hand on there, so it's a bit concerning. I'm not going to take... I'm only going to show you... Uh, what am I trying to say? Hawkeye's going to be piloting in the Quinjet, so he's not going to have this in his hand. So this is the only time that you'll see it probably in his hand. Uh, unless I take photos. Um, but yeah. This piece is great, it's just the quality control is not so great. I think the material is a little bit brittle. That's probably why it's sensitive to continual use. But anyway, moving on. Uh, this figure is great. I think the weakest part is the hair. The hair, it doesn't match Jeremy Renner. It doesn't look like his hair. It's too comby. It, I don't know, it's way too neatly done. Um... And I think in Avengers Age of Ultron, those other two sets, I think one of them was a Hydra showdown with Thor. They definitely fixed his figure's hair because Jeremy Renner's hair is very spiky in these Avengers movies. And this does not look at all like the hair. I think they went off of concept art. That's probably why he's wearing these red sunglasses as well because he doesn't wear these in any of the movies. 
I think it's just in promotional material. But yeah, this hair piece is not good. It doesn't match Hawkeye. I don't know. I think that's the only thing. That's the closest they probably had at the time. But something much better like this one, just the sleepy head hair and in, in the same color, dark nougat, matches so much better. That looks so much better. But we're reviewing the figure as it, um, on its own as he, as he comes. So, yeah, we're just going to put that back on. But he does have some great detailing. At least I can zoom in a little bit so you can see the printing is fantastic. Just all this... It's very cool. The outfit he wears um, during the first half is very, sh it's a shield uniform. But in the second half, he starts to have his own, he has his own suit. It's very, like, sporty. Uh, it's very cool. You can see all this metallic mesh. Well, not metallic, but, like, dark mesh printing. It's got, like, a, a really cool strap for the quiver. And uh, it's got lots of nice belt buckles. And the leg printing, while not, a, there's not a lot of it. But it does look very nice. It's better than no leg printing, um, which is probably the weakest part of the new Hawkeye figure. Speaking of that, I did want to do a brief comparison to the original Hawkeye here and the newest Hawkeye right here. This is the 2021 figure. And it's technically better. It looks so... It's pretty much exactly look like Renner. Like They got the face right, the hair right, and they got a new bow piece and it just is fantastic all around but again they're missing leg printing but the his outfit in the show hawkeye show is not that as detailed so it makes sense while why it's not that you know poppy here but the hair is so much better and the faces are so much nicer they actually match uh jeremy's look a lot better and the arm printing is great as well and the bow piece i think the bow piece is better it's definitely more realistic. Um, but yeah, I just want to give you a little bit of a comparison. Obviously, no glasses. Um, but that's an older, bit of an older Hawkeye look. This is the year original. I think Jeremy Renner was around 30, maybe late 30s uh, when he um, was in the first movie. So it does look pretty decent. Uh, I like the leg printing a lot. He also has uh, bare sleeves and a black glove, which is nice. The back printing... Honestly, I think the back printing is better than the front. There is just so much to see. Obviously, the new one has the quiver piece. But I think for its time, they did a great job in getting the quiver to look great with the strap and more of that mesh printing fabric. Maybe this is Kevlar. I think this is Kevlar, um, which is really cool. And you can see there's all these different arrows in his back, and it's really nicely designed. You'd see a tiny bit of metallic uh, in that design there, which is really cool. I think his his um, outfit in Age of Ultron is slightly cooler, but the first Avengers look for him is pretty iconic, and it's pretty great to me. I think it looks nice. Again, why are they, why are there sunglasses? It reminds me of Cyclops from the X-Men films, which is not a bad thing. I love those movies, well, most of them. Um, the first two, and then they go downhill from there, pretty much. Um, but yeah, it he doesn't wear these, but it's fine. It's cool. He They also, one thing that's very interesting is they give him a smirk with the glasses on this side of the face, and on this side he gets the uh, no glasses, and he's just really angry. He doesn't really get this angry, but in the Age of Ultron sets, they actually kind of switch it up, so instead of... Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. So they give him the sunglasses with the angry look, and on the other side is just him without the glasses. It's kind of cool. I like that. He has more of a trench coat look in the second film. And I think his coolest outfit is probably Ronin from Endgame. Um, but yeah, he's got a lot of cool looks, for sure. I just think the hair is the weakest part. It looks enough like Jeremy, you know. It, it's They tried. It looks good. It's just, it's not exact, but I think if you get the, uh, I might try this, but if you take the new Hawkeye head and the new Hawkeye hair and put it on this body or on the Age of Ultron body, um, it probably will look fantastic. I might do that for sure, just to see how it looks. But that's the, that's the figure. I think it's great. I, I'm, a, I'm happy to have this figure again. I used to have it, but his torso cracked, and so I actually gave it away to a good friend, and, uh... I'm glad to have him back.
for sure. He's a great figure, and he's going to go great in the Quinjet, for sure, alongside Black Widow. Um, yeah, I think it's great. I do think that Kate Bishop, however, I did have to mention her, though, she is a knockout figure. Like, you know how much I love this one. So this one is, out of all the figures I've gotten from Bricks and Minifigs, this is my favorite, uh, Kate Bishop. It's just so well, well detailed and so nice you know it's very very accurate it's very nice she's better than both of these hawkeyes but um this one's a pretty strong figure for sure i think the weakest in the original 2012 line is probably captain america as decent as that figure was i didn't have it i think the new ones is they're just so much better but yeah this is hawkeye a great figure let me know what you think do you like this hairstyle for him do you think the glasses work and what do you think of the uh, the other suits? What's your favorite Hawkeye minifig? Let me know. And uh, let me know what you think of the uh, 2012 Avengers sets. Let me know if you have any of them and uh, what your thoughts are on them. I definitely think they should have included Hawkeye in the new Quinjet, the 2023 one. Just because he was piloting it, it, it was a big... He, he was part of that battle, too. So, you know, it's fine. I'm glad I have him now. And, uh... Yeah, he's not going to be broken anytime soon. So that's it for this one. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Take care. Have a great day. Thank you for your support.